What's up, YouTube? All right, so today I'm going to kind of talk a little bit about RASP versus uh, SFAS selection. It's kind of a hard topic because the two are very different, um, because the groups are very different. Regiment and Ranger Regiment and Special Forces, um, they're made up of just different missions, uh, different mission sets, different ways of doing things. SFA, um, Special Forces is kind of like a more hands-off, more here's the job, go do it kind of thing. Um, whereas 75th Ranger Regiment, they're like, they're the infantry standard. They, uh, they kick in the doors. They, uh, the airfield seizure is one of their primary mission sets. Um, they go, uh, kill, and come back. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, uh, it's two different groups. So, so when, when they're, when you look at their selection processes, um, they're getting two different types of indi individuals. Um, SFAS is pulling in guys that are a little older, a little ma more mature, um, have a slightly higher GT score. Uh, I believe regiment is 105 and SFAS is 110. And which DG scores doesn't really mean that that much, but um, still, it's it's about finding they're they're finding two different kinds of, of person. And as a young guy, um, you're gonna their Ranger Regiment isn't looking for any previous experience. They just want a moldable individual that won't quit, that can uphold the physical standards and can break through mental barriers. Um, so that's what RASP is. It's putting guys in very rough, tough situations, making them want to quit, weeding out the guys that want to quit, that will quit, and uh, just finding those moldable young men to get the job done. Um, SFAS, on the other hand, uh, there's, at the end, you can do everything that they tell you, but at the end, they're going to select you based on your performance and how they kind of rated you. So, and and then even after that, there's a two-year Q course in which you can also get uh, weeded out. So, um, I would say entry level. It's without experience. It's easier to get into Ranger Regiment based off of that. Um, physical requirements of both are very high. Um, you you get a lot of. You don't, either way, you're not going to be feeling good. You're, you're not going to be anything close to peak performance when you go through either one of their courses. Um, of course, SFAS is three weeks, whereas RASP is eight weeks. Um, S, uh, RASP is, uh, is kind of like your basic training style. You know, you're controlled. Everything is controlled. Your meals, your meal times, uh, what you do. No, no, everything is very controlled. Whereas um, SFAS is slightly more gentleman kind of course. They just they tell you what to do and then they leave you alone. There's no cadre. There's nobody out there just smoking you. Um, it's just yeah, it's very two very different things. So I think it really depends on who you are because I know that there are guys that I went through SFAS with uh, who physically probably couldn't have handled everything that RAS could have thrown at them, um, especially in the heat of the summer. Um, but they got through, you know, the 16 or 20 mile trek, whatever. Um, and then uh, there are definitely guys that went through RASP that couldn't have gone through SFAS. Uh, not, not so much uh, the physical side of things, but but just because um, the land is a little harder, and obviously, you know, getting selected is all about um, getting noticed and whatever all the criteria the uh, SFAS cadre are looking for. So, two very different beasts, two two very different uh, programs. Um, and the best thing I could say is it depends on who you are. It depends on what you're looking for. I couldn't say one is necessarily harder than the other. They're just um, they're just different. Um, I will admit, I think um, I'm a little more ready if I do try to go back to SFAS. 
uh, for to go into SFAS than RASP just because um, RASP was two months, you know, looking at two months of just going back to basic training, being treated like crap is a lot less appealing than three weeks of going through the suck, but either way, it's, uh, it's not fun and you just kind of grab yourself and, and go and get it done. So, uh, the, the two courses I think have learned from each other and, um, I think they communicate and work with each other and making better programs they are evolving um, I just the the type of person they're looking for is different so the courses themselves uh, the selection processes uh, are different because of that so that's my two cents on uh, selection versus RASP